So he came out of the kitchen and sat down, he put the tray down, he said, So, uh, what's this Jehovah's Witnesses all about then? This fella said, I don't know, I've never got this far before. <laughs> oh, thank you, are you clapping me off? That'll do. <laughs> you know, I bought my wife a mood ring for her birthday, and when she's in a good mood, it goes a lovely shade of turquoise blue. And when she's in a bad mood, it leaves a big red, red mark on my forehead. And, uh, <laughs> Many years ago, I was in the Territorial Army, you know, and we once been on manoeuvres in the West Country, and after the thing that Sergeant May said to me, I want you in my office now, immediately, Cassum. I went in, he said to me, I didn't see you at camouflage class this morning. I said, thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I got a phone call from BT yesterday. They said, you've not paid your last phone bill. I said, don't worry about it, I've placed it in a queue. <laughs> What a lovely audience. And, uh, I'm sorry, I haven't got a better act now, I'm on, but don't mind. And thank you for the order you're giving me. It's absolutely implacable order, that. Thank you. I can hear my hair growing. And uh, thank you very, very seldom. And, um, and one thing you must always remember, you know, that wherever you go in life, well, there you are. And, uh, <laughs> and if you're ever in Liverpool, never buy a Rolex watch of a man who's out of breath. So... The police pull this scouse left for speeding, and when the copper owns the door, the scouse is punching his alsatian on the nose like that. <laughs> copper went, Oi! I was booking you for speeding. I am now booking you for speeding and cruelty to animals. And the scouse said, Well, if he'd done to you what he's just done to me, you'd have punched him as well. He said, Why, what's he just done? He said, He's eaten me tax disc. 